Okay, so I'm going to show you the quickest way to get from processing to Apple Script, uh, the quickest way to run a script. Uh, so let's just make something simple. Um, let's say processing. So let's run this. Processing. Processing. Alright, so now we need to save it as an application. Uh, before we do that, let's uh, yeah, make a folder to, to so we can have all these in one spot and let's name it um, processing to Apple script okay so now now that we're in Apple script let's go file save as and let's call this say process oops processing and uh, we want to save it as an application and uh, we want to save it in processing to Apple script so that came up so let's say processing processing to Apple script processing okay so now that we have that we can we don't need that window open. So now let's go into to processing. And um, we have void set up void draw. Uh, for the purposes today, let's just do void mouse pressed. And uh, to make sure that, it, uh, let's do background. random 255 Oops. so this is just to so we have some visual indication that you know, this part of our script is working we're gonna run that and uh, click with our mouse and you can see that it's changing colors so we know that that all that is is working and we're gonna go say open and we're gonna put in the path so we put that in applications uh, we did processing to Apple script And uh, the name of it was, um, say, processing. And we're going to put application because it does have the app behind it, but uh, it's just not, uh, it just doesn't show up. Here, let me see. Let's see if this, uh, if this opens. Okay, so because we haven't clicked on the mouse, it hasn't sent any messages to uh, process or to our uh, Apple script yet. So let's processing. Yeah. So I'm just clicking on the screen. It's saying open this, open the applications, and you can see down here um, a little application pops up. Processing. And runs it. Processing processing okay so that's the that's the easiest way to get um, from processing to Apple script uh, our uh, say processing is kind of um, boring so I'm just going to I have a Apple script here that I uh, because I are my long-term goal for this is to have uh, have processing talk to Photoshop so I have this script here, and it says uh, tell the application Photoshop to set foreground color, and um, it just says to set foreground color to red. So just follow the same the same process of saving, or well, save as, and we're going to put it in uh, processing to Apple script and change color PS.
oh whoops I did that wrong file save as and we want to make sure that we have application so now all we have to do is um, I don't want to say processing anymore I want to say change color Photoshop let me make sure I got this name right change color PS for Photoshop uh, so let's see if this is working I'm gonna have open Photoshop I'm gonna put the foreground color to whatever you want light blue if you can see there and uh, let's see if so it's not going to do anything until we click on the screen so light blue changes colors you saw the apple script run and now it's red so a real quick way to to go from from processing to apple script to photoshop and uh... there's a problem I really want to pass in values and I've kind of figured out a, a, a workaround. It's kind of um, kind of clunky but it'll allow us to pass in values, essentially pass in values to uh, Photoshop. So I'll talk about that in my next video.